Hey, how's it going, folks? Assuming that your hard drive just randomly died, um, I'm just taking this as the scenario. Um, let's say you've been backing up your system image. Well, I'm basically going to show you how to restore it onto a new hard drive. Now, obviously, a Windows 10 backup with the system image included is the first thing you're going to need. And then the second one you're going to need is a Windows 10 installation media. To have a Windows 10 installation media, you could have created a system repair disk of your Windows 10 before your drive died. However, if you never got the chance to make one, then you could just go onto this link here. It'll be in the description, by the way and you can just get the Windows 10 installation media. I did actually create a system repair disk, but most people tend to not do that. So I'm gonna do it this way for you guys. Okay, so you're gonna need a USB or DVD to get the installation media. Now they don't have to be blank because everything will be reformatted. You just need a spare USB or DVD that you're not gonna use for anything else. In this video, I'm using a USB. This is what it looks like when it's completed. But for the sake of this whole installation process, here's the USB that's blank. So what you need to do is download the tool. Now once the tool is downloaded, just run the application. Now this window should open up, accept the license term. Now here you want to choose create installation media for another PC. Hit next. Here you can use the recommended settings or you can configure them yourself and uh, see where it says addition you may be wondering if you had windows 10 pro you still just select windows 10 n is the one that doesn't have windows 10 media player and all that stuff so then you hit next now it just gives you a little installation warning here it has to match what you previously had in terms of your license and key and all that stuff just so everything starts off from where it was before with your license agreement so just hit OK. Now here you can use a USB flash drive or ISO file onto a DVD. So we're going to select USB flash drive because we're using a USB. Hit next. And there you go, you have two options. So I'm going to choose this one here. This is the one I did previously. So just hit next. And that's it. The process will take a couple of minutes. Um, probably even near an hour. Depends how fast your system is. Now, like I said before, this is what it looks like when it's completed. So if you go into it, you can actually see all the tools that you need to install Windows 10. Now, you don't want to delete any of these. All you have to do is just simply right click and eject and then remove the USB from your PC. OK, so at this point now you need to connect all the drives to your PC. So that's the USB flash drive with the installation media, the backup drive and the new drive for your operating system. Uh, don't forget to go into your BIOS as well to change the boot priority. Set it to boot from the USB flash drive first. Um, as you can see, mine is TDK and then just exit the BIOS and let the PC restart and boot from that USB flash drive. When the installation media loads up, you'll be brought to the screen first. So just choose your language preferences and then hit next. Click on repair your computer. Then just click on troubleshoot and select the advanced option. Now you might be inclined to select system restore, but what we need to actually select is system image recovery. So that's why it was important for you to have a system image backup as well. Then the repair tool will scan all your disks for any backups and system image. As you can see here, it picks up my backup drive straight away. Now at this point, you can select the latest system image on your backup, or you can select a previous system image from a previous date. But I'm sure most of you will be looking for the latest, so we'll just click next on the recommended setting. Now all the disks on your PC will be reformatted. However, you can choose to exclude some of them that are available. Then just hit next and it'll tell you the system you're recovering from, hit finish and then you'll get a warning saying all the disks on your PC will be formatted and replaced with the layout and data in the system image. So just hit yes to continue and then the restoration process will begin. This might take some time depending on your system. Once the restoration process has completed, you'll get this message. So go ahead and take out the USB flash drive with the installation media and then click on restart now. 
When the PC is restarting, this time you want to boot back into your BIOS and then change the boot priority to the new drive. And that's pretty much it, your PC should now boot into your Windows operating system. It might go through some updates, so this might take a while as well, so just be patient. Um, once this is done, everything on your new drive will look the exact same as your previous drive before it died. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.